Good morning and welcome to the little apartment on the prairie. This morning I am baking a cake for my neighbor's birthday. He is turning 51. Last year I made him a cake and I put 50 little candles on it. It was kind of, was, I was joking about I was going to give him a cake with 50 candles. And I joked about it so much I decided that I had to do it. Well this year I am not putting 51 candles on it. I got those, uh... number candles instead and this is not that interesting of a cake but I'm making a jello cake you probably know how to make those you bake the cake like according to the cake mix and look at my stove it's like it's all clean the countertops reasonably clean isn't that nice um, but you just use a, a white cake mix and you bake it according to the directions on the package and then you, you let the cake cool and then you poke holes all over the top of it. And then you mix up your jello, like the powder with the water and pour it over the cake and put it in the fridge till it sets. And then you use Cool Whip for frosting. So that is my neighbor's favorite cake. I asked him what he liked and he said that was his favorite cake. And I'm glad he said that because that happens to be one of my favorite cakes. So that's what I'm making. I'm not, I mean, you can make the cake from scratch if you wanted to. I'm not, I'm using a cake mix. I, uh, yeah, I'm using a cake mix. But it tastes really good. It's a, it's a really refreshing cake. I like it. Um, all right. I need a cup of water and you can see my, my kitchen's cleaner, my living room's cleaner too, my bedroom's still a mess, you know. One thing at a time, we'll get there. Water, half a cup of vegetable oil. And I use sunflower oil. I don't know why, because we grow sunflowers near here, like in Kansas. There's lots of sunflowers. Not that this is exactly local vegetable oil, but anyway, what kind of oil do you normally use? I use olive oil sometimes. It depends on what I'm making. But I use sunflower oil usually when I'm baking. If I'm like cooking something, I use olive oil in it. If I'm like frying something or you know, like, I don't fry a lot. If I'm sauteing something. All right, three eggs. These are eggs from the uh, farm where I buy milk, from the happy little chickens at the farm. They're beautiful eggs. I love farm fresh eggs. They're so much better than grocery store eggs. And then I save my egg shells because I compost them. I think I might have just got a piece of shell in there. Maybe not. Well, I don't see it. I guess we'll find out. I guess I should preheat my oven. Three fifty, three twenty-five for a non-stick pan. I guess. I guess this is not a non-stick pan. I bought one of those disposable pans. You know that. I mean, I hate to use stuff like that, but that way I can just give it to my neighbor. He doesn't have to give me a pan back. It's easy. I guess I should go ahead and spray it with like baking spray. Sassy, I don't need your help, little girl. She's like, something's going on in the kitchen. I want to see. Nosy cat. She woke me up at like, she's been waking me up about five o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't know what she wants. She just wants to play. She just wants attention. She like bites my feet. 
at 5 in the morning and wakes me up when I am not ready to get out of bed yet. So, my neighbor is, uh, I don't know, we're not like super close, but we're friends. And we see each other almost every day because he lives right across the hall. And it's just nice to celebrate things. And, like, he talks about his birthday a lot. Like, some people, their birthday's a big deal. I don't really make a big deal out of my birthday. But, like, my family didn't make a big deal about birthdays. But with some people, like, birthdays are a big deal. I don't know. So, anyway. It's nice to have something to celebrate, though, you know. And I don't have an electric mixer, and my arm is getting tired. This is almost done. His birthday's not till tomorrow, but I wanted to make the cake today because you gotta let it cool, and then you gotta put the jello on it, on it, and let it set. So it takes a while to make it. be that hard to make to make the cake from scratch but sometimes a mix is just easier and this really is a good cake I got orange jello I just happen to have orange jello I think it came from the food pantry at some point All right, so as soon as the oven's preheated, that will go in the oven. And that's the main thing I'm doing today. Let me know what you all are up to and what your favorite cake is. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you soon.